guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create an off the canvas menu using Elementor. To give you an example of what an off the canvas menu looks like, here is a website that I built using Elementor and if you click here, it flies out with um, a really neat handy menu. Now, these type of menus are pretty good for menus that may not be able to fit the actual website. So for instance, all of this, all of this, all of these links here in a menu may be way too long. Yes, you can use drop downs and whatever, but this kind of makes it look a little bit more sleeker, a little bit more nicer. And it is very easy to do using Elementor and the Elementor pop-up feature. So let's go straight into it. So this is Elementor and I have my site title here and I have my menu plugin. Now this is the normal menu module, sorry, not menu plugin, menu module. All I've done is I've changed the layout to drop down, okay, like this. Now we're not going to be using the menu module in this course we're going to be using something completely different okay so what i need you to do is press command and e or control and e on your keyboard and we're going to type in pop and we're going to add a new pop up i'm going to leave this page and we're going to create our menu Here we are in the menu. Now, as you can see, they've got different, loads of different um, things that you could use as a template. Um, I think I'm going to just start from scratch because I want to show you exactly what you need to do. So here we have our um, box. This is the box that's going to fly out. There's different ways that you could have it fly out. You can have it fly out from the left, from the top, from the bottom. It totally is up to you. But we want it to kind of come out from the left and we want it to fit to screen. Okay, simple. And the entrance, we can have it just either fade in or we can have it zoom in right like that. There's different entrances that we can have. I'm going to have it fade in from the right, sorry, like that. Okay, so that's nice and neat. You can choose the width of your, um, of how much it flies out. You could choose it by pixel or you can choose it by viewpoint width. I kind of like to do it on viewpoint width and have it at 30%. I think 30% is an okay sweet spot, but you could change that. So obviously this is what it's going to look like when it's on desktop. But if you come over to here and you click on the um, tablet view, you can of course change what it's going to look like on tab tablet view as well. So I could have it actually come out the full width like that if I wanted to. I'm going to have it come out about, uh, let's say, 60% on um, mo on tablet and on mobile. Again, I think I'm going to have that at viewpoint width about, mm, about 80% on viewpoint width. Okay. And you can also change the position. So if I wanted it to come to the right sorry, the left on mobile, I can do. If I wanted it centered, I can do. So you do have some customization here in terms of what you can make it look like depending on which device um, it's coming from. So I'm gonna change the background to black because I like the color black. I'm gonna go to 1F1, oops. 1F is a good color that I'm gonna use. And from in here, I can literally do things like, you know, add in, I'm not going to add any particular styling per se, but I am just going to add some bits and pieces just to kind of show you what could be added in here. Let's see, let's drop that in there. Let's drop a button in there. And we could put our menu in here if we wanted to. 
Okay, we can have that vertical. It's a main menu. We don't want it to. Um, we don't want the toggle on there because currently the toggle is loaded on mobile. So let me just bring this out into desktop view so I could see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I can add some padding in here so it's not completely flush to the left and the right. Maybe like a 40 pixel padding. There's a, 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 um, a close button at the top. You can't actually see that, but you can, if you click here where it says settings down here, you can choose the styling for the close button. You can make it bigger as well, and you can make it white so it kind of stands out. Okay, so from here you will just add in whatever you want to add. If you want to add a form in there, you can do anything that you want. So once you've added all of the bits that you want in there, obviously style it to however you want to style it. Um, once you've decided that this is how it's going to look, then you want to click on the publish button. Now it's going to ask you about conditions, it's going to ask you about triggers, it's going to ask you about advanced rules. None of these need to be checked. All you need to do is click on save and close and leave it like that. Okay. Now we're going to press command and E or control and E on your keyboard and we're going to go back to the header. Right, so from here, I'm going to get rid of this completely because we don't need that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an icon. I'm going to drag that icon over. And I'm going to use uh, the bar icon. And I'm going to align that to the right. And here where it says dynamic, you can see it's got the dynamic button here. I can click on that, scroll down, and I can choose pop-up. Now this is going to open the pop-up, and the pop-up that we need is called menu. Now we can update that, and now if we look at our website, it's right there. When someone clicks, it goes. And that is how you create an off the canvas menu using Elemental Pop-Up. <laughs> <laughs>